Hey there guys, welcome to before be oh, to the brain gone dead. Before the fall, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, before the fall. The very last so far of the updates to the main story of Final Fantasy fourteen. Basically everything that comes before Heaven's Word. So this one I have been informed is slightly longer than the past ones, which each seemed to get longer. It's longer in terms of there is more stuff in it apparently and there are more quests than the others. But guess we'll find out. Ah, as we saw last time, good intentions. Minfelia is considering which of her many responsibilities demands her utmost attention. Other than standing there next to that chair. That's the most important one. Ah, oh, no voice acting, fair enough. I asked a bit too much there, I suppose. I am most eager to address the Asian threat. However, we dare not neglect our other pressing concerns. We both know full well that Saint Shiva will not be the last primal we face, and our relationship with Ishgard is still tenuous at best. It's better than it has been in years. To think that the resolution of the primal threat was once the sole priority of the Scions at the Seventh Dawn. Some days I wonder if it was wise for us to take on so many other responsibilities. Lest you forget, Antecedent. Uh, one second. Okay. Lest you forget, Antecedent, the Scions need not shoulder the burden alone. Were you n were not the Crystal Braves established for this very reason? True, we are presented with a multitude of problems. However, we all have the we have all the resources we need to, to address them in turn. Alex in particular is ever a steady hand, whom I trust will continue to support the Braves. Yeah, 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 I know. Do all the work. To what do we owe the pleasure? Have there been further developments regarding the situation in Uldar? As expected, the Immortal Flames have been struggling to cope with the revelation that one of their highest ranking officers was a Guardian agent. Suffice to say, to Deji Adeleji and his monetarist ilk, have wasted no time in attempting to turn the situation to their advantage. Coupled with ongoing unrest, the Flames are finding themselves hard-pressed. Plainly, General Varaban needs our help. And I will direct the Crystal Braves to offer what support they can. If I am to stay abreast of the latest developments and issues affecting orders, however, I cannot afford to waste time travelling back and forth. And so, for the foreseeable future, I think it would be best if I were to remain in Uldar, unless you have an objection. None whatsoever. We have matters here well in hand. Moonbrenda's research is proceeding as planned. So she tells me, though I am not familiar with the details. Orion J is poring over his tomes at the Waking Sands, and the others are contributing in their own ways. Alas, the key problem, how to form an ethereal blade at will, remains unsolved. Nevertheless, it is only a matter of time. Alex, while we focus on the task, mayhap you could assist Alphino and his braves with theirs. It would do much to restore faith in the immortal flames if the Warrior of Light was seen working on their behalf. Well, I am one of the flames, but okay. Never forget that your est est esteemed status allows you to act in ways that those more tightly bound to organizations and nations cannot. As ever, I implore you to do so. Not that your response was ever in doubt, but I humbly thank you once more for aiding our cause. Now then, there are preparations I must attend to before my departure, such as receiving Riol's latest report. He has proven to be quite skilled at gathering information. Others wish kept secret, hence why I placed him under my direct command and ordered him to investigate the Uldan riots. When you're finished here, join me outside. Depending on what he has to say, I may soon have a favour to ask. 
If there's any developments on our front, I shall inform you at once in the usual fashion. And so it begins. I noticed on the way in, there are a lot of people in different positions, so I've got lots of people to talk to. Uh, oh yeah, it is different. Ever since Moon Brinda, Brinda has arrived, uh, ever since Moon Brinda arrived, the Rising Stones has been buzzing with excited energy. I must admit, her enthusiasm is rather contagious. I am unfamiliar with the dishes of the lands to the north. Perhaps once Mubrinda has concluded her current research, she might deign to share with me her culinary knowledge. When the city of learning was abandoned, a great many tomes were scattered and lost. How smoothly our research might proceed were we able to peruse the archives of yesteryear. Moon Brinda has charged us with acquiring some rather esoteric manuscripts, but I'm afraid to ask. The task is proving nigh impossible. Oh, be so bad up that grad. When only one is in need, need of precious commodities, it helps to have friends in the right places. Fortunately, I am well acquainted with the charming daughter of a successful old darn import merchant. We need a rare ore to modify the white orosite. And then Cred solved the problem using only his link pearl. I mean, it's great and everything, but where's the fun in that? We were but stripping adventurers the night we saw f fire of rain from the sky and a pillar of light scorch the heavens. What a sight it was, eh, Colton? It. Horia and I were in Eastern Thanalan when the colossal shards of Dalamant pierced the ground. We stood witness to the subsequent explosion of ether and watched dumbfounded as the swirling energy solidified into those twisted crystal structures that we now we now know so well. These two have been telling me stories about the corrupted crystal formations that appeared following the calamity. I'll need more data before I can draw a conclusion, but I'm intrigued at, by the potential of their untapped energies. Yeah, no one's really in any way looked into that. The Dormans and the kids are missing again. Hello Alex, are you sleeping well? You must be absolutely exhausted from saving the realm on a daily basis. I am actually quite exhausted, ironically, from doing this. It's weird. Is everything in order, Alex? Are you ready to attend us? Yeah, there's no one else to talk to. Pleasure as always, Alexander. You'll be escorting the commander to Uldar, I take it? Actually, I had another task in mind for him. If you would be so kind as to re repeat your report for his benefit. Right then. Me and... Me and mine have been making inquiries into the source of the weapons that found their way into the refugees' hands a way back. So what happens we caught wind of something pr promising. A rather large purchase of sharp and pointy things by a black marketeer holed up near Highbridge. I doubt that this man would have secured such a quantity of weapons if he did not already have clients waiting. Clients that, for whatever reason, would prefer this transaction to remain secret. Brings to mind that merchant what caught an arrow while t talking to Alexander, d don't it? Generous fellow, he was down out swords and spears and to the downtrodden and disgruntled. Which isn't to say that these clients have the same mischief in mind. But, if you want to be sure, it might be prudent to intervene before they collect their goods, savvy? Savvy? 
Seizing the weapons before they fall into the wrong hands would be for the best, however, if we sti strike at the appointed hour, we might capture the black marketeer as well as his clients. What do you say, Alex? Then it, it, then it is settled. Rendezvous with Captain Ilbert at Highbridge and intervene when the exchange takes place. Now then, if you'd excuse me, I must leave for Old Earth. I expect good tidings. Why would you say that? Oh, High Bridge, where's that again? If I remember correctly, that's in Limsa? No, it's in Thanalan. I'm totally wrong. I'm thinking of the big bridge. Uh, ah, oh, that one. So next to Drive One. Is it going to be raining? I say this every time I go here. And it's never been raining. It's Whenever I'm not recording, it rains there. I think I might have caught it raining once. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I am riding on my chocobo. His name is Quee. He chose it himself. Obviously, his name isn't the sound Quee. It's the way that you see it. Is actually the way that they would say their name. Like. A cat isn't called meow, but it could be like explaining to you the way that its name is said in cat. So Kwe is how you say, say his name in Chocobo. Kwe. To the next information point. Kwe. Kwe. Hello. Wow, you really stand out here. You still got no hat. Oh, God. Ah, Alexander. Well, did I, I can't remember. No, he's still in form. He's still formal with me. My scouts have been keeping a close eye on... On the Black Musketeer. Musketeer? Oh, God. Marketeer. And it would seem that his guests have arrived. It would also seem that he has hired more than a few men to stand guard. Common thugs of no consequence, but they nevertheless pose a threat. Even so, I feel compelled to apologize. This is far beneath the man of your standing. And Commander Leveleur needn't have dispatched you hither. But powerful men ever have need of loyal, able-bodied friends. Having found one in you, it is only natural that he would come to rely upon you without hesitation. Next. Bait and switch. Neil Bird is eager to bring back Bring Black Musket Marketeer. Why do I keep saying Musketeer? And his clients to justice. I am the Black Musketeer! Now then, we should be making for the burning wall without delay and secure those weapons. The first unit will ensure that the clients do not escape. With me, Alexander. Disappear. Salute. Disappear! Wow, that's a rather spiffing weapon on your back there. Well, it's not a weapon, it's a pickaxe, but still. Well, it looks more like a hammer. Where am I going? Oh, rather far, actually. Okay, so let's see. I've got to go into that... Oh, that area place again. And I see the, what they call the golden sheep, was it? Golden lamb? Golden something. Oh, that's a golden one. Oh my god, I forgot to keep the eyes up. The old wife's tales. An old wife's tale states that if the monster Gossamer comes to you in your sleep, you will awake as bold as a melon. Middle-aged men across the realm unite 
Oh, this bean must be quelled. I don't know what to say to that. Hello, I hope things are going well for you. He's a good one. Floating stone. Look at how fat it is. I really want to get one of them. But they're expensive. <laughs> Isn't everything. Ah, I spy one man. But there are sure to be others. I have a plan. While you approach the sentry and create a distraction, my men and I will slip past and catch the black marketeer unaware. Hopefully he doesn't have a black musketeer with him. Once you dispose of the thugs, wait for us outside the tunnel entrance. Any questions? Then let us be off. Good luck, my friend. So I am Distraction Man, the greatest he hero of them all. Distraction Man, the greatest hero of them all. Uh, I think I have to go the really long way, but I'm not sure. Yay! Yeah, I didn't have to go the long way as well. Hello, how are you? Oh. Sorry, I'm gonna have to kill you now. Who goes there? An adventurer? Tenfu? You should have never come here. Did I distract them long enough? No, oh, there's more. Never mind. Black market musket market musket there uh, musket black musket man bodyguard. Now he's a body bag. Oh, worthless! All you. This ends here. Nah. Oh no! I've run out of my ether stacks. Whatever will I do? This seems fitting. Uh. Uh. I did a good job, I presume. Well, that was simple enough. Do 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 do. I'm really confused as to where I'm going. What's that? Oh, that's what it wants from me. Wow, that was really hard to notice. So it did not mean that cave entrance. It meant a different cave entrance. Do 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 do. No, not that way. Think this way. Ignoring the fate. What's this one? After years of searching, Dobling breeding grounds have finally been discovered in Eastern Thailand. Now that we know where they went, mate, we can stop them from reproducing and save countless tons of ore from needless consumption. Well, that's not technically needless. This looks cool though. Anything? Anyone? I don't understand. What's all this about? Ah. Investigate the disturbance. Hello, Ilbert. What's happened here then? A 
As you can see, this is a fine mess. When I tried to restrain him, he drew a hidden blade and lashed out. But before I could disarm him, one of my subordinates panicked, and this is the result. How foolish of me to underestimate the bastard. And to bring an inexperienced recruit. Commander Leveleur will be most disappointed. Say, this seems suspicious. After the whole thing I said last time. Damned it all, a golden opportunity wasted. As for the clients, though we know not how, they slipped past our perimeter. At present, the first is currently tracking a party of Duskrite cell swords. We suspect may be them. Would that we could have enlisted the aid of the immortal flames or the brass blades. Alas, we're here to aid them. They're in no position to aid us. Well, at the very least, we've secured the weapons. And even that accomplishment is lacking, for the information we received indicated a massive shipment, and this is anything but. Ba, 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 ba. Best laid schemes of mice and men. <laughs>